What's up, everybody? It's Dre, Trading Scared, and I'm going to show you how I trade options. I'm going to put on a quick trade, but it's not going to be that quick because I'm going to trade the leap options. I'm going to show you how I trade options, and when I do, it's leap options. And that a leap option is anything that expires over a year, right? It, it stands for like long-term equity anticipation security something like that but anyway any option that basically takes over a year to expire is considered a leap option so i'm going to trade amazon how, how i've been telling you how i like this chart lately so let's look at see what's going on so here is basically the last year oh, I, I shortened it a little bit and we can see how amazon is in a downturn and then it's starting to it's starting to make that curve you know to head back up and i'm really liking it yesterday like yesterday i mean the market was down huge and amazon was actually up <laughs> so anyway so you can see i already have my um Re resistance line right here it's about it's basically 1700 let's just call it 1700 and it's been battling this now a lot of people won't put on this trade unless it actually cracks 1700 but i'm gonna put it on because i like to anticipate it breaking resistance hide <laughs> sorry about that i like to anticipate breaks and this is where i i actually mess up a lot because i anticipate too many things i really shouldn't let it just break and then put on the trade. But I want to anticipate it breaking resistance and make a run for the all time high. So let me go to the weekly chart. And you can see how it's making a curve uh, down and it's got a little shelf here. Back to the daily chart because you see this area? This is a shelf. I love this. If you could put a cup on top of here, a plate, and I love that. That's consolidation. And when we have consolidation, that means this, it's going to pop hard on the upside or the downside so when it leaves this area this general area right here it's going to go hard one way or the other and i'm going to anticipate the upside so what i'm going to do is buy a leap option so i'm going to go here's the options i'm going to look at the june uh 2020s okay uh expires june 19 2020 and so if we look back at the chart Amazon's all-time high was 2050. So let's see. I'm gonna these options. Here's the volume. So you can see they're not heavily traded. There's no liquidity right now in them. But I'm gonna buy and hold. See, let me let me explain something back in the chart real quick. Going way out to June, next June, not this June, next June. I have time for it to kind of play around in here before it kind of makes its run this is a long-term trade and i'm going to attempt to make over 200 <laughs> percent i'll show you why so let's go ahead and buy we're going to buy a out of the money a way out of the money option i won't know if it's way out of the money but i want to look for this anticipate amazon making a run for its all-time high um so let's look at the this 1980 option 1980 i'm gonna say buy vertical so i'm looking at the 1980 i'm gonna buy the 1980 and i'm gonna sell the 2000 okay the 2000 is that's a 20 point spread and right now the mid price is six dollars and 18 cents so that means the most i can lose on this trade is six dollars and 18 cents uh, it, so what's the most I can make? Let's bring up. Let's bring up the. Let's analyze this, okay? <laughs> and this is it right here. Okay, six dollars and eighteen cents. Okay, so you can see right here. If it doesn't go, basically, here's the mid price. If it doesn't, basically, the most I can lose is six hundred and eighteen dollars. But right here, if I bring it over here, anything over two thousand. If you look at this number right here, the most I can make is. 12.97 right so if the most i could lose okay the that that price is jumping all over the place right now so right now it's saying the mid price is 703 so let's go ahead and lock it let's lock it at 703 for right now the most i can lose is 703 the most i can gain is 1297 okay so if we take 703 uh, let me get this math right i got i got the calculator right here let's say we take 12.97 and divided by 703 we the most i can make is 180 percent on my money 
I think that that's pretty good. 180%. <laughs> but here's the deal. Here's the deal. And, and, and that's factual. I mean, if I, I could buy it for 703, and if, if it's over 2000 by the year, uh, by expiration, I'm, I pocket 1297 I mean, it's that simple. But what the option is telling us, look at, let's look at that, uh, uh, the chain real quick. Back to the chain, where we are. Trade. Okay, here we go. So the delta is 41. So basically it's saying by and just using the delta, we're gonna estimate with the delta that about I got about a 40% chance of it going above 1980. I, that's pretty good. I mean it's not 50%. <laughs> but 40% is pretty good because I remember I'm anticipating this thing going up. So I'm saying, huh, that's hogwash. It's going up there. And here's the thing that a lot of people confuse when trading options, especially out of the money options. It doesn't have to reach there. I'm going to start making money as long as it's going up. If it starts to go up, this option is going to increase in value, this spread. Okay, so we don't have to let it expire, uh, you know, because it could expire worthless. You know, there's a if there's a 40% chance of it reaching, there's a 60% chance this thing's basically going to expire worthless. Okay, so... I don't really anticipate it expiring worthless because I feel it's going to go up. And as long as it's going up, I'm going to make money. If it starts going down, I'm going to lose money. But not as fast because this option is not in the money. It's an out-of-the-money option. Only thing I'm buying is time value right now, okay? Time value. And if it goes down, you know what? I still got time. <laughs> so, yes, the option will lose money, but not as fast. All right, so let's see how we can put on this trade so let me let me go here let's go ahead and buy this and set it up again buy the vertical so this is a live trade by the way I, i'm doing this right now it, it, this is real deal stuff so right now it's saying it's 690. it's funny this option has been the spread has been priced all over the place amazon is dropping at 1700. But okay, let's test the water. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, let's test the water at 690 and see what happens. Uh, okay, confirm. Anyway, let's see here. It says here that um, it's gonna cost me 692, and you can see my max profit is 1310, and I'm gonna break even at 1986 so this can get up to 1986 before june 2020 that's not june this year that's june next year i'm gonna break even so let's go ahead and send it boom i'm done it's done i think you know when it goes that when it when it um when it uh goes that high when it goes that fast that was a quick i, I probably paid too much probably paid too much for that so anyway, uh, let's see what we got. Anyway, that's it. Look at filled. Yeah, I bought the sold my SPX. And that's it. That's it right there. So that's it. I'm going to be up 200% in a couple of months. <laughs> I mean, a couple of years, a year and a half, a year and a half. And that's a live trade that I've done. This here. That's a live trade that I've done right here. And who does that? Who does that? Right there on my account. So anyway, Amazon is going down. The market's not looking good. I have confidence in it. Um, I'm going to hold this thing until I, you know, I will risk losing half, you know. So if it gets to like 350 or so, you know, I might bail on it. Um, but I, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Like I said, it's, it's, it's hitting that resistance. If I'm looking short term, I'm going to say this thing is going down. And possibly I should wait. I should have waited. But me, I kind of like, I like kind of trading right at the resistance. Because I'm going to tell you why. We could wake up in the morning and somebody upgraded Amazon. Somebody did something. And boom, this thing is up 40 points. And you know how Amazon trades. But boom, it just blows through resistance. And then now, since it's through, everybody's jumping on the train. And before I get a tra trade on, this thing is up 60 points, you know, trading at 1760, you know, because Amazon moves like that. So that's why I kind of like putting on my trades before. And since I'm doing a long-term options, 
I have time. I have time. Now, I have gotten burned doing this kind of trade. Okay, so like, let's go to the uh, the hourly chart. You know, so it's it's kind of floating up here at resistance. And then next thing you know, it just, boom, it just shoots down, you know, comes down hard, you know, and it's like, oh, my gosh. You know, so that's probably, look at look at it right now over here. This is the minute chart. Let's look at the minute. Yeah, look at it just kind of, it, it, it was going up, 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 up. It's hitting that resistance, and it's going down. It might go all the way down to 1680 as far as I know. But yeah, you never know, right? I mean, it, that's one thing also. Nobody knows where stocks are going. Nobody knows, okay? So we're taking good educational guesses, but nobody knows. If we all knew, everybody would be rich, right? And this, this market loves, it finds a way to take everybody's money most of the time <laughs> at least it tries to it tries to find a way to make the most people wrong okay and uh, that's why people say oh it's gambling it's crazy you know i ain't messing with that stock market blah 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 it just finds a way you know so you know that's that that's like when we did the uh oh i can't i can't change ticker symbols right now because my keyboard's kind of messed up like when we was talking about the SPY yesterday, that V bottom, you know, it, it, you know, most people was thinking that market is going down and boom, it shot up. It found the most people wrong <laughs> right there. I mean, so a lot of people miss that trade. They missed the action. See how I bought the stock and it's like just going down $16.99. That's me. I, I find a way to buy at the peak of the day. So when I just bought it, I think I bought it at 1701, somewhere around here. Uh, the market will probably close and Amazon's trading at um, 1650 or something like that. But it is okay. It is okay because I bought a leap. It's way out there. Now, I, I do think I overpaid. I do think I overpaid 1690. It, gosh, I'm a little pissed about that. But anyway. That's it, man. That's the trade. So let's see. Come back to the channel. Check out the channel in June. Next June. Not this June. Next June. And we'll talk about this trade. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Dre. That's my feel on Amazon. And uh, that's how I trade options. I Leaps. Leaps. It gives you time. A lot of times I also sell. I sell leaps. I actually sell them more than I buy them. But I, 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 I took a gamble here. I rolled the dice. Let's hope I don't crap out. Yeah, I rolled this, you know, here's another thing. Generally, call option buyers lose money most of the time. Why? Because most options expire worthless. What is it, like 90% of all options expire worthless? So, so I know all of this stuff, all right? So I know that this is a, a it's it's more risk to it. But generally, I'm a call, I'm an option seller, okay? But um, we're going to, we just went ahead and bought it this time I, I totally get it so yeah most options expire worthless most call, most ugh, option buyers lose money because there's a thing called theta which is time decay and the time decay takes away all oh, here, here's my trade right here this thing is saying I'm gonna lose about 62 cents a day from here yep so 62 cents every day as of right now that is, do I got the right date? Hold on, no, I don't got the right date. Let's go to today. Yeah, that's it. Today. 62 cents. I think that's right, okay? I'm not the greatest thinker swim person, but 62 cents, you can see that number right here, okay? Because that's today's price, 16.99 right now. And it's saying I want to lose 62 cents every day until this thing expires and as it gets closer that number is going to start raising you know it's going to start losing because now I'm, I'm just i'm just talking myself i'm just talking deep because you got the equity curve you got that 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 time decay theta curve but most of the decay starts to decay like around the 45 day mark and it starts to really tank the the, the, the air comes flying out of these options and that's why i like leaps because it, it allows us time for this trade to work out and how much time on this trade what was it actually 472 days or something like that here we got 472 days <laughs> i have to, to to make this work and we just want it for the most part 
let me go back to the chart to start going up once it starts going up i start to make money it doesn't have to cross that 180 mark that's at the expiration okay so once this stock starts going up the value of that spread starts to make money thanks for watching this video um i just wanted to do a quick trade with you on what i do and remember i'm not the guru on here don't follow me okay i actually put these videos out for myself so when it goes wrong i can actually go back i might go back to this video and say damn why the hell did I put that trade on at the at, at resistance? Why? Maybe I should have waited for it to bust through. Maybe I shouldn't. You know, for whatever reason, it's my little personal diary. And I'm just putting it out there because I just want to share uh, my trades. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to do more of these kind of videos. And um, I don't trade often. It, it depends. I have some accounts where I kind of do take quick bites out of the market. But most of my trades are long term and most of the time i sell options i sell them <laughs> okay so but we're gonna try to uh um just just to make a play of this thing going all the way back up to uh to test those highs anyway thanks for watching this video i'm dre this is trading scared i'm happy.